All right, thegarb.com here with Pete Drago Sal. How you doing, Pete? Hey, what's up, Garb, man? What's going on? All right, man, you got to be happy, uh, you know, Matt Serra, first round knockout. What would you think of that? Hey, man, it doesn't get better than that, man. You go, you know, a day in the job, you walk in there, knock the guy out quick, walk out, not even scratching the face, man. It's, it's uh, definitely always a good night when that happens. You know what? Uh, Trick was talking some mad, crazy shit, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, Matt's going to be out of the UFC, needs students, now he's got the students and he's still in the UFC. I mean, that's why, uh, you know, you never you never run your mouth too much, like, too rough, because you just say something for failure, because, you know, if you talk that way, you got to back it up, and I just feel like people, sometimes when you talk, it makes something worse when you, uh, you lose, you know, it's, yeah. not, it's not worth it, you know. Well, you yeah, know, you got to be classy about what you say, you know, not talk out of lines, you know. Absolutely, and, and you know, Matt's known for his jujitsu, but you know, training with uh, Ray Longo, I mean, he looked uh, beastly on his feet. Yeah, man, he's, they, they, everybody knows us. Everybody tries to uh, say, oh, he got lucky, he hit GSP in the back of the head, this and that. He's dropped already, uh, you know, Carol, Hughes, Pierre, Trick, like, you know what I mean? It's how many guys you have to knock out now to do a, or drop for it to be lucky. Like, He's pretty lucky four, four, four times that happened, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a lucky guy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, he, he, he's a short fighter for that division, but, uh, you know, Mike Tyson was like 5'10", and, uh, you know, Sarah's just able to work his way inside and then unleash the bombs. Yeah, man, that's, that's it. He's, 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 he's low to the ground, man. It's, it's funny, he jokes around about his height, but he's low to the ground, it works for him, man. He's hard to, guy, hard to punch down at the guy. He's good head movement. It's, it's hard to hit the guy, man. He's coming in hard, and, and you're going to get hit with something. Well, I know that you guys train together, so uh, how was that training camp getting ready for Trig? You, you get beat up a little bit? Yeah, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's all good fun, man. You're helping everybody fight, train, get ready. You know, uh, we, we came out to Vegas a couple weeks before and trained real hard every day. I used to be altitude. And, but, and, I mean, we he had so much stuff that he was working that people didn't see after the stuff he was going to do for the fight. You know, he was lucky the fight went his way real quick, so you didn't get to see everything. He has a lot of tricks up his sleeves, you know? And uh, this weekend at UFC 110, uh, headlined by uh, Big no uh, Noguera versus Kane Velasquez. What do you think about that fight? I mean, I, I, I think Kane's a beast, man. He's a beast in the wrestling. But, I mean, judging from how Minotaur did his last fight with Guitar, I mean, that, I mean, that was insane. That was like how the sweeps he was doing. He just seems like he's such a big guy for that heavyweight division. I don't know if, you know, if he's doing the guy, that guy that got like Couture that's an awesome wrestler just like him. Um, you know, can 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 be in trouble, man. I, I gotta give the edge to Minotaur, you know, just for experience alone too. You know what? It, it was a shock to see, you know, Randy Couture sweat like that. Uh, that yeah, that's kind of unusual. Yeah, I mean, over and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's 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 he's a big guy, man, doing those technique, you know. And uh, so and now March twenty seventh, it's kind of in our backyard, uh, UFC one eleven. Um, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, GSP is in, in the title fight against Hardy. What do you think about that fight? Um, you know, I, I, the guy Hardy came onto the scene quick. He's caught some man. He's he's kind of a brash talker. Um, so it's like I said, man. Just like just like trick talking hard, man. You better back it up. Right. He's, he's talking hard like it's it's going to be easy. He's going to go out there and bring it to him. He's a bigger guy than that. So you know, we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens. You know, see if he backs up what he says. Well, you know what? Uh, Sarah is one and one right now against the uh, GSP. Who knows? You could see a, a, a third fight. You definitely could. Yeah, and then also on that March twenty seventh card, uh, Frank Mir. You know, talk about trash talkers. Frank Mir against Shane Carwin. Shane's a big, strong wrestling uh, heavyweight, a big punch. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, you know, I, I didn't think Mir had it in him like he did. I mean, for the uh, Nogueira fight, he just he came out like a new guy. I think he changed the style around, and then. He came out and just uh, destroyed Ke Chuck Conner real quick. And that guy's a phenomenal striker. He just he got, he's a big guy. He's swinging hard. And if he lands it, I mean, so I, you know, man, th th those are two big guys that are swinging hard coming at each other. I think it's going to be good. You know? Yeah, going to be off the hook uh, March 27th. Well, Pete, uh, thanks very much. Always a pleasure. Good stuff, man. Thanks, man.